Today in Review This Thing, we're here at Camping World to take you on a tour of the Heartland Mallard 210RB. This is Adrian. And this is Robbie with Review This Thing. And if you've been looking for an ultralight travel trailer for two to three people in any season, then today we've got a pretty fun RV feature tour for you. So this is the Mallard 210RB by Heartland right here at Camping World. If you have one of these or if you have another Mallard, then please comment below and let us know what your experience has been. But today we're pretty excited to take you on a tour and show you all about this. So let's go. So this 168 square foot RV is 21 feet, nine and a half inches long, 11 feet, four inches tall, and just over eight feet wide. It has a dry weight of 4,397 pounds and a GVWR of 6,900 pounds. It sits on a single welded aluminum frame with double axles and wide tracks suspension and has a 55 amp 12 volt power converter and uses 30 amp shore power. MSRP is just over $40,000, but the Camping World price is just under $33,000. Okay, now that we've covered all of that, let's start our tour out here on the outside. The Heartland Mallard 210RB is constructed with an aluminum frame. It also has a four inch thick, fully walkable insulated roof and two inch thick laminated fiberglass sidewalls. Also of note is that this RV has a heated and enclosed underbelly, which is part of the reason why it is a four season RV. All of this insulation and the design is how they claim it stays so lightweight and temperature controlled, especially because the insulation they use in this RV has one of the highest R ratings that you can get. The exterior also has an Asdell coating, which is meant to prevent absorption of moisture, which will hopefully keep any of the exterior from bowing out. As we look at the front, you'll see it has an aerodynamic curved front with a lower rock guard, LED running lights, and you can't tell it in the daylight, but these graphics actually glow in the dark to help you find your space and help other people see you. You'll also see dual 20 pound propane tanks that are set up such that when one gets empty, it switches right over to the other one. And this powered tongue jack makes it easy to hook up to your truck and set up once you get to your destination. This LED light makes it easier to hook up as well. Behind the propane tank, you'll also find your battery box and connections and disconnections for that. Okay, now let's move around to this side. So the first thing that I want to point out is the pass-through storage. These doors are of course latched with a lock, which is awesome. They're magnetic and they're anti-slam. Now the opening on this side is a fairly decent 18 and a half inch opening. And when we get to the other side, we'll show you that one, which is actually almost twice the size of this one. There are a couple of cool things about this storage. Number one is that it is pass-through storage, so you can get to your things from either side. The other thing that's really cool is it is fully insulated. But one of the coolest parts about this is that there's over 60 cubic feet of storage available right here. So with that, you shouldn't have trouble fitting anything like your tables, chairs, hiking sticks, things like that, and be able to get to them pretty easily. And there are actually battery-powered LED lights on the inside too, so you can actually see your stuff. One last feature I'm going to point out from this side is that the Mallard 210RB is equipped with tire pressure monitoring. So hopefully when you're driving down the road, if there's an issue, you'll know it before it's a real problem. Next, I want to point out the water heater. It is a six gallon hot water heater. And here's your fresh water connection. Here is the controls for the powered front jack and you'll find one of these on the back as well. Also of note is that the windows on the Mallard 210RB are 80% tinted. It definitely should help keep things cool in the summer and also give you a lot less light just blaring in the room. Over here, you're also gonna get your first look at the slide, which we'll take a closer look at when we get inside. And next we have all of our hookups. You have your city water, you have your black tank flush, and you have your cable hookup. Your 30 amp power hookup. There's actually an outdoor shower that's going to have hot and cold water and a nice little shower head. So if you want to rinse off if you're pretty nasty from hiking, mountain biking, something like that, that's a pretty cool feature. It has a pretty ample 45 gallon freshwater tank and 40 gallon gray and black water tanks. Coming around the back, you'll see the bumper with sewer hose storage, spare tire carrier, and it's already prepped for a lippert ladder to make it easy to get on top. In the middle, it's prepped for a backup camera. And from back here, you can see the curved top, which allows you to shed water a lot faster, and it has little bitty gutters along the side. And now for the entrance side, let's head up to the front to show you that storage. And we've already showed you the pass-through storage, but on this side, you can see that the Mallard 210RB is prepped for solar power, if that's something you're interested in. Here we have a dual GFCI outlet, furnace cover for the exhaust, and we have two dual speakers up there for your sound system. And this is the exhaust for the oven inside. This RV has a powered 12-foot awning with some extra LED lights underneath, 
should give you perfect protection from the rain or sun on those sunny days when you're just hanging out. The awning also has an adjustable pitch, so it's easy to get water off the top of it. And the cool thing is, if you wanted to put your grill out here, there's actually a propane hookup right there on the outside. These stairs are solid flip down stairs, which lead up to the friction hinge door that also has a screen door option. So now that we've pretty much shown you the whole outside and we're right here at the door, let's go inside and check it out. We'll start off by taking a look at what Heartland calls the gourmet kitchen package. So the first thing we'll see is a pantry with removable shelves, very solid doors and nice latches. There's also a cabinet below and a little space where possibly you could throw your dirty shoes to keep them out of the middle of the floor. And beside our pantry, we have our 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer combo, which has several movable shelves and is actually pretty spacious. And if you have kids, you can also bring your chalk. There's a little doodle station on the outside of the refrigerator as well. As we move over to this side of the kitchen, you'll see that there is a single basin, pretty large stainless steel sink, as well as a nice high rise faucet. And of course they have your window behind the sink so you can check things out as you're doing dishes or prepping dinner. We also have this fancy little backsplash that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And again, there's more storage here. And if you can take a look there, these are pretty heavy duty cabinet doors, which is a lot nicer than several other RVs you'll see. And we also have more storage down below. Next, you're gonna see the three burner stove that has this nice glass covering. So you can actually use that area for prep as well. And also, unlike a lot of smaller RVs, this one actually has a graystone convection oven. So you can make your frozen pizzas or whatever else you might wanna cook in your oven. We also have an over stove light and exhaust fan, as well as a graystone microwave. And of course, we have some countertop prep space and even more storage down below that. And before we move into the bedroom, let's take a look at the entertainment area. You can see here there's an HDMI hookup as well as a cable. So you could mount a TV there. There's also an outlet. And then you have your entertainment area. This is a Bluetooth as well as HDMI and USB. So you can control your television sound for these speakers overhead as well as the speakers that we showed you outside. So you can turn your radio on or hook up your phone or MP3 player and have your music inside or outside, which is a pretty cool touch. Now let's head over and talk about the bed. Here we have what some might consider a major upgrade. There's a king size bed with a cooling infused gel mattress, but it does feel pretty comfortable. And there's two overhead reading lights, a little bit more storage on each side, as well as outlets with USB connections on both sides of the bed. Another really cool feature is the additional storage underneath the bed. And you can see these windows are equipped with nightshades to keep it a little bit darker in here when you sleep. Even though there's not a door to separate this space, there is a privacy curtain in case somebody wants to sleep in. And now let's slide over here to the living room. Pun intended because this is the area where the slide is located. The flooring is carpet free, even under the slide. So you're gonna have a lot less dust and things like that. The flooring itself is actually tongue and groove. So that should in theory make it a lot easier to sweep clean, mop clean, and just keep it clean period. You can see here we have a sofa that actually folds out into an additional bed. This part is a tad odd to me because this cushion isn't as thick as the rest of the bed, but I'm hoping that maybe if somebody was sleeping on it, it wouldn't really feel that uncomfortable, but I don't know, remains to be seen. And here we have another LED light as well as two LED lights there and some more overhead storage space with those dark frosted glass windows. You may notice that unlike a lot of RVs, there isn't a table like dinette mounted in this area, but they do have a removable table which I kind of like because that way, if you want to kind of sit and eat your dinner at the table, you want to get a little work done on our computer, you can bring this table in. Or we showed you that ample storage space outside. If you want to just hang out, chill out on your couch, watch TV. And the table is also cool because you can take it outside and use it as a picnic table as well. And finally, in our living space, you're going to see your thermostat, which is going to control your 13,000 BTU dual ducted AC unit and your 30,000 BTU furnace. If you've been wondering why this Heartland Mallard is called the 210RB, here's why. RB stands for rear bathroom. It has a plastic foot flush toilet, storage space here. The vanity has a decent sized sink with storage underneath and a little medicine cabinet. The shower is an angled shower with dual sliding glass doors, which should give you a little bit more arm room and keep water from getting everywhere as compared to a plastic curtain. I'm 5'10 and I'm wearing shoes, but there's room in here for me to stand up. Overhead, you have a sunlight to let in a little bit more light and a vent. 
So there you have our full feature review tour of the Heartland Mallard 210 RB. If you have this RV or another Mallard, please comment below. If you have any other questions that we didn't answer, also comment below and ask those. We will answer them if we can, or as always, you can reach out to your local camping world and I'm sure they'll be happy to help. We've also done a few other RV tours, so make sure you check those out. And we've got a few more coming in the future, so subscribe so you don't miss those. As always, we really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Heartland Mallard 210 RB complete feature review tour. While you're here, take a look at a lot of our other review tours as well as lots and lots of reviews. Make sure you check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you like this video, give us that thumbs up, share it with your friends, and remember to comment and tell us what you think. Thanks for watching. Ah!